welcome back to my channel it's ifi ub in this video i'm going to be showing you ways to moisturize your dreads i've been on these dreads for like two weeks going to three weeks and no i haven't just been coming in and going out my hair like this i've been moisturizing it i moisturize my hair every single day before going to work so this one is installed it's not natural so i'm just going to put you through how to moisturize your hair when you are on locks the way my locks was done is feeding crochet was used so my hair was first um you know the normal way they do crochet in the beginning and then the rest of my hair was dragged in my hair is all the way inside this um, crochet and um, locks my hair is like right here so imagine the way others that are in here is going to like feel this crochet is more like protecting my hair for low manipulation so if you want low manipulation i would advise you to get this kind of uh hairstyle so with that being said let's jump right into the reason why i'm making this video in the first place which is that it wasn't easy for me to moisturize my hair i had to like take my time this is also applicable to those that have the natural locks that's if the locks is actually your hair you're going to be needing water water is the number one moisturizer for any of your hairstyle even if i skip oil or skip leave-in conditioner i don't skip water because water helps to keep this moisture in my hair i've had a, a case where i asked someone what do you use to moisturize your braids she was like oil i'm like oil and she was like oil oil is not a moisturizer oil is a sealant i'm not saying using oil is wrong but please do not use oil as a moisturizer also make use of castor oil to seal in the moisture i also have a mixture of different different oils i have wild growth oil in here i have peppermint oil in here i have i have castor i have neem oil i have argan oil i have coconut oil all in here just because i love mixing my oils so that everything can just you know work together i'm also going to be using my all-time favorite aloe vera 100 percent pure gel i also have my mango and lime castor oil the amla also my wild growth oil everything is mixed in here i'm not just going to be using ordinary water to spritz my hair i'm going to be adding some things <laughs> the first thing i'll be adding into my water is my aloe vera gel i'm just going to add a bit of aloe vera gel after putting it in it doesn't even look like i put anything i'm going to take a bit of my oil mixture and just drop a few in here i'm also going to take a bit of my uh peppermint oil one two oh. my major 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 moisturizer is ready i am going to be sectioning my hair because i have lots of a lot of dreads right here and my atlas band and all my bands are not here so i'm just going to use the crochet to help themselves so yeah this part is out so uh we're just going to start with this so i'm just going to spray from the roots here all through uh where my hair stops and i think my hair stops around here and so i'm just going to spray enough water all the way from my roots to this place so as i'm spraying my water i make sure to um, massage the moisture into my hair we have low porosity hair and anything we just apply without putting in effort of squeezing it in it's just going to sit on top of our hair like this is not even my hair it's the crochet so imagine just spritzing a bit it's just going to stay on the dress until it's dry it's not even going to go into my hair so i have to make extra effort to like press in the, the moisture in because without pressing it in it's not actually going to go anywhere one of the major reasons to make this hairstyle is because it keeps your hair away from manipulation it keeps your hair away from dirt from dust from anything that might get into your hair to damage it so i'm done spritzing this area with water this side of my hair with water I'm just going to make extra effort and squeeze the whole thing in so this part of my hair is moisturized already you can choose to oil your hair immediately after spritzing it with water but normally i prefer to spritz my whole hair 
squeeze in the whole moisture before applying my oil so you can just do whichever one is convenient for you so i'm just going to um apply the oil after spritzing the water when i apply my oil i can't see my scalp well but i'm just trying my best when i apply my oil i just massage it in you are doing two things at the same time you are moisturizing your locks at the same time you are encouraging hair growth when i'm done with this section applying my oil and all and i just have to quicken up the process so that we don't stay here for hours because this is going to take time and I'm just going to go ahead to like you know spritz a little bit a little bit of more water in case it didn't get in well <laughs> and I'm done moisturizing this section of my locks I'm going to be making use of the Johnson's aloe and vitamin E baby oil is it written baby I don't think it's for babies I don't know <laughs> I'm just going to apply an oil to that section going to try to like squeeze it in so that my hair will actually get a bit of the oil so when I'm done I'm just going to pick few like uh, four to five locks and I'm just going to work with my hands like this and this not only helps to renew my locks it also helps to you know sink in the water the oil everything into my hair Finally, I'm done with this section. I'm just going to put this one aside. Moving to this side, I'm just going to do exactly what I did to this side. moisturizing my locks yes you have it yeah i'm done this is how to moisturize your locks and i'll advise you do this every day even if you are going to skip it make sure you do it at least three times or four times a week because your hair needs moisture you have to exempt applying your oil on your scalp every day just to avoid build up but then you can make use of your um, water mixture which is a little bit of oil aloe vera more of water and less of any other thing you want to add i will advise you do the oil application every four to five days thank you for staying with me to the end of this video i hope that this video will be helpful for you and i'll see you on my next one bye